Hey y'all, welcome back. Number 55 is just a straightforward logarithm problem. So with logarithms, you want to be thinking about what they equal um, by thinking about this question. Let me, let me write, write this out. Um, so if we have log base 5 of the square root, where's the square root button on here? Uh, oh, there it is. The square root of 125. First things first. I want to think about this uh, a little differently. And instead of thinking about it as the square root of 125, I'm going to be thinking about this as 125 to the 1 half power. Anytime you take the square root of a number, that's equivalent to raising it to the 1 half power. So whenever you have um, a logarithm and you've got an exponent inside the logarithm, you can use something called the power property um, to rewrite this so that the exponent on the inside of the parentheses is now a coefficient of the logarithm itself. By the way, you do have a um, graphing calculator on this, so um, you can also just type this into the calculator. It might be a little bit easier to do it that way. Uh, you would need to use change of base formula, though, so just be aware of that. With this base 5, you'd have to type this in as log 125 divided by log 5. But I want to still kind of show you how to do this without a calculator. Um, so when you're evaluating logarithms, um, you want to be thinking about the fact that a logarithm is an exponent. And so the question really here is 5 to what power is 125? Um, and 5 to the third power is 125. So log base 5 of 125 is 3. Like I was saying before, you could use the calculator to just do log 125 over log 5. Um, if you're not sure how to evaluate the logarithms, this is, how you would, this is what you would type in into the calculator uh, to evaluate this. So you'll get 3. Um, but like I said, you can do this without a calculator, so that's what, what I want to show you here. So, um, so that's evaluating the first part. 3 times a half is equal to 3 halves. So this, uh, this first expression is just 3 halves. And then if we're going to do the same thing for log base 2 of root 2, log base 2 of root 2 is equivalent to log base 2. <laughs> really struggling with the notation here. Uh, log base 2 of 2 to the 1 half. So approaching it very similarly to how I did this one. Um, and so once again, I can use that power property and rewrite this as 1 half log base 2 of 2. And so when I'm evaluating log base 2 of 2, uh, I'm thinking to myself, 2 to what power is 2? And that would be 2 to the first power. So here I have 1 half times 1. Now 1 half times 1 is just 1 half. If you wanted to type this in the calculator, it would be kind of, you'd set it up like this using the change of base formula. And you'd write it as log 2 divided by log 2, which obviously is 1 because anything divided by itself is 1. So this is 1 half. Um, and so, yeah, we've got 3 halves minus 1 half would be 2 halves. And 2 halves equals 1. So this whole expression, this log base 5 of root 125 minus log base 2 of root 2 equals 1. And that's it for number 55. Y'all have a great day.